Today on the show, we're making falafels. So yes, we're doing another Middle Eastern dish. Because let me tell you something, my people have survived poverty, corrupt governments, and decades of awful US foreign policy. A little bug from China is nothing. Now to begin, add one cup of dried chickpeas or garbanzo beans to a medium sized bowl. Then add enough water to cover them by a couple inches. And let them soak for 12 to 24 hours. Here's what they look like when they're done. That's right, I'm recycling footage from my recent hummus episode. Hey, what you call laziness, I call efficiency. So, take our soaked chickpeas and place them in a food processor. And chop them up until it's nice and fine. Alright, you want it to be about this consistency right here. Now, if your food processor is big enough, you can make the entire falafel mix in the bowl. However, mine's not. Stop laughing. So, I'll just have to transfer it to a large bowl. Now, if you want to help me get a bigger food processor, support me on Patreon. Link is in the description. Then toss in half an onion, diced, and yes, it has to be diced. I don't want to be eating falafel and then bite it into a raw onion. Two ounces of parsley. And one ounce of cilantro. Finally, toss in two cloves of garlic. Chop up everything nice and fine. Take our chopped up veggies and dump them in the bowl. Now, let's add in our spices. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Half a teaspoon of cumin. and a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. Well, almost forgot, this is important. One teaspoon of baking powder. Mix everything to combine. Finally, we need to bind everything together, so add four tablespoons of flour. Quick note, don't go overboard with it. You don't want your falafel to become all bread-like. All right, to give it a quick test, grab a little in your hand, press it down a bit, um, a tad more flour. Okay, we got a nice, wonderful falafel mix. Stick it in the fridge and let the flavors get to know each other for a couple hours. Uh, I got a show to do. Let's just skip to forming. All right, time to scoop and form these out. Grab yourself a disher, that's about two, three tablespoons in size. So just scoop up some falafel, pat it down with something flat, onto the plate. Okay, when they're all formed up, gently pick one up and form one into a nice cohesive ball like this. Okay, now it's time to fry our falafels. Bruh. I have here a Dutch oven filled up with oil and set it to 350 degrees. Is the World Health Organization giving you the cold shoulder even though you are successful in fighting off COVID-19? The number you're looking for is 175 degrees. So take a skimmer, place a falafel in it, and slowly dunk it in. Oh, by the way, I'm a professional moron. Don't copy me. All right, once they turn this deep brown color, transfer them to a cooling rack lined with paper towel. And move on to the next batch. Bada bing, bada boom. You have a little chickpea fritter ready to consume. But, um, we are missing something. Let's make tahini sauce. To make the tahini sauce, add two tablespoons of tahini paste. 
third of a cup of lemon juice. Two teaspoons of water. Whisk it all together. All right, nice perfect consistency. Then add three cloves of garlic crushed. And salt to taste. Nice taste test. Perfect. Okay, now you're ready to enjoy your falafel. And yes, I know my hair looks ugly. It's gonna be like this until the barbers reopen. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you really like the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh, and uh, I made more falafels off camera. I don't think I'll be able to finish them all.